Senior enlisted leaders from the Aircrew Flight Equipment Career Field gathered at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base to refresh on job fundamentals and core tasks. The more than 170 senior NCOs from installations around the world discussed current training deficits and formed plans to improve the capabilities of the 2300 strong career field. There's indicators out there that our superintendents just do not have the training they need to be able to perform some of our core functions. Our core functions are training equipment and quality assurance. Budget constraints and a career field merger left dwindling opportunities for ongoing training, something Chief Leitner found unacceptable when the mission is to enhance aircrew performance and preserve human life. The, the main goal is actually to, to get together to discuss and, and talk about some of the, uh, the common problems we're having and then give them hopefully some education to go back and, and put that information to use at the unit level to, to make things better. With five days to get into the specifics the superintendents were concerned about, attendees took away a lot of information. Most importantly, the opportunity to exchange ideas and experiences with senior members of the career field. It is fantastic. Everybody's from different bases, different commands. So we're, you know, we have a really good opportunity to learn from each other as well as our functionals um, from our specific uh, match comms as well. Well, what we're looking at is some, some rock solid senior NCOs walking out of here on Friday that are ready and able to go back and mentor the future force of our career field and start moving our career field in a positive direction. From Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, I'm Tech Sergeant Scott Johnson.